Hi, in this video tutorial, I'm going to explain the user interface of Go and Correlate. Let's go ahead and open one of these sample projects in order to show you the user interface. In the center of the interface is a 3D view displaying the data. You can turn the object by using the left mouse button, zoom in and out with the mouse wheel, pan the object by pressing the mouse wheel, and rotate left to right by pressing shift with the left mouse button. You can also click this cube in the lower left corner to bring the object in the 3D view to a standard or isometric view. You can use the image mapping function to display 2D image information and inspection results together in the 3D view. The software also allows you to use the image mapping in report pages. The software defaults to display the image information from the left camera. You can also switch to the right camera here if available. Underneath the 3D view is the timeline. The software manages multiple measurements in stages. For example, if you have captured 33 images, you will have 33 stages. You can slide through all the stages of your project by simply left clicking on a stage and dragging across the timeline. All results are instantly displayed for each individual stage in the 3D view. You can also change the timeline display from stage index to time or name by clicking on the timeline with the right mouse button and hovering over timeline. On the left side of the main toolbar, you'll find the workspaces. These are dedicated to assignments such as inspection, reporting, and mesh editing. If you switch between workspaces, the main toolbar above changes accordingly in order to provide the needed functions. Start brings you back to the main start page. The Overview Explorer contains a tree of all the elements of your project, whether they've been imported, such as this CAD file, or created during your inspection. Everything is clearly categorized and easy to find. If you want to view specific elements in the 3D view, just left click on the element and drag and drop it into the 3D view. The elements will be displayed exclusively. If you drag and drop them with the right mouse button, you can decide if you would like to display the element exclusively or if you would like to show it in addition to the current content in the 3D view. You can also click on the eye icon next to each element to show or hide it in the 3D view. The Sub Explorer contains additional information about the elements in your project. You can access the bodies of your CAD files, or you can change which elements have not yet been documented in your report. There are also other categories listed here, which I will explain in the following tutorials. A GOM Correlate project can contain several alignments which you can switch between at any point in the inspection. If you switch to another alignment, the software will automatically recalculate any element to its new state because an alignment will influence all inspections. You can also create new alignments at any point during the inspection. If you would like to view or change the properties of an element, you first have to highlight the element and then open the properties window on the right hand side of the 3D view. You can open the properties window by hovering the mouse on the right edge of the software and hitting the tab or by hitting the tab key on the keyboard. The content of the properties window is dependent on the selected element. If you would like to view the parameters of the measurement, or if you'd like to apply a filter, you can do so in the properties window.
The toolbar above the timeline contains various selection commands, such as select deselect on surface, select deselect through surface, and others. It also remembers recently used selection commands. You can also access the most important selection commands by clicking the right mouse button in the 3D view. More selection commands can be found by going to Edit, Selection in 3D. If you would like to find out more about a specific function, such as more detailed information about parameters, you can use the search feature of the Direct Help in the upper right corner. Just enter the term and the related results will be listed. You can also use the question mark, which you will find in every function dialog box. Just click on it, and the software will open the help window for the corresponding function. You can also unpin the direct help and move it to another location or another screen. To pin it back, just drag and drop it onto the search field in the upper right corner. Templates for report pages or legends are stored in skins. You can view the current skin on the upper right corner next to the search field. To switch skins, simply click on the current skin for a dropdown of all currently available skins or go to Edit Skins. There are two default skins for inspection and deformation. If you work with a project that has been created with the professional version of the GOM software, the skin might have been customized. Now it's your turn. Start by downloading GOM Correlate for free from the following link. You can then download the sample data for this tutorial by clicking on Sample Data in the Start Workspace of the software. You will need an internet connection in order to download the sample data. Once this is downloaded, you can open the sample project using this tutorial and continue to familiarize yourself with the user interface and workspaces of the software. If you feel comfortable with this exercise, feel free to start watching the next Go and Correlate tutorial, or for more information, visit Trillion.com. In the next tutorial, I'll explain how to import and analyze 2D image data.